All right, we've taken the axe, the half axe, it, I should say. We've modified it into a carving axe. We cut the handle, and now I've done my work, except for the final sharpening. That's coming, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this video rather than doing that. This is what we've ended up with. Now, I've made a good heavy leather with a good thick uh, spline in it so that it fits on there snugly. It's not going to come off by itself. I drilled a hole in the base of it because I hang my wooden tools in my shed by the handles straight. Here in my beloved south, I have, it's not common, but I have seen an axe or something propped up, take a bow or a set from the heat and everything else, sitting in the hot shed for a month at 100 degree temps, the wood actually softened a little and you get an axe with a bow to it. So I was taught as a boy, always hang your chopping tools. So this one will be hanging when I get home. Get you a closer look at it. Stained the handle up real good. Smoothed it down. I took my uh, Master Woodsman by William Collins and using the back of the blade because it's got a good 90 degree spine, I stripped off all that original finish. I then took fingernail polish remover, looked for the one that says 100% acetone, and the little steel wool, I got the lacquer off the head. So now it's a nice bare metal ready to go. All that lacks is for me to sharpen this up. Now I'm going to make this edge, which as you can see is already thin. You know, it's not a very thick head, and that's the reason I chose this. I'm going to sharpen that up to a good razor edge, the full length of it, because what this is going to be used for is carving. Carving greenwood projects. Now, right now, it was 97 a couple minutes ago when I checked, and with heat index, it was 109. So yeah, <laughs> it's too hot for Blackie to run around chopping stuff right now. The little short axe like this is the perfect size for me for use as a carving axe. Now I've already got a stump, and that's going to be my anvil. That's where I'm going to do my woodworking chores upon. I'm going to work on making some spoons, spatulas, and some other little gears. A uh, cup, bowl, a few other things, especially this winter when it gets really cold. But during the fall, on events, I'll bring it along and work on it. It gives me something to do. And I wanted a dedicated tool for it. Now that I have dedicated this to it, I can sharpen it up and use it as it's intended, as a carving tool. It's not a chopper anymore. I've got an axe and I've got a kukri for that. This has become a woodworking tool. And that's my idea. Total outlay, 20 bucks. I stain the handle with, and I'm gonna, if you ask, I'll do an update video on this, but I used black shoe dye, leather dye, and the brown furniture scratch cover. That's what I used to make these handles look so nice and dark. I do my tomahawk handles. A lot of times I even do axe handles with it. It adds a, a coating to it that doesn't rub off easily and also protects the wood, and I can oil on top of it if I wanted to. So, all the best to both worlds. The axe cover, simply a fold over piece of good heavy leather. If I was going to be carrying this in the pack, I could very easily just run a piece of paracord around here and one quick cinch, it wouldn't come off. But I don't see this doing anything other than writing like this in the bottom of a pack. So it's not going to get carried a lot. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any questions or comments down below. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.